Hi and welcome. My name is Eric Thompson and I am coming to you from Garnet Valley, Pennsylvania to celebrate Delco Arts Week and to welcome you to Darlington Art Center, your home for every art for everyone. Come on inside. Founded in 1978 by Diana Hemingway, Darlington has fostered a mission to build community by providing every art for everyone. For our 40th anniversary, we took to the community and asked them to tell us what the arts mean to them. As a result, as you enter the doors of Darlington, you catch a glimpse of exactly that in a beautiful mural constructed by Rebecca D'Angeli and the community members of Darlington Arts Center. Darlington Arts Center is thrilled to provide an arts integrated preschool program for our little ones at ages three to K. This is the home base and the preschool room here at Darlington, but because of social distancing cues, we are using our larger space throughout the day now. But still, this is a wonderful place for our little ones to come and get creative, as you can even see on the entranceway on the door here from our first week of preschool this year. Darlington offers programs in music, art, dance, and drama every day of the week, every day of the year. So I thought I'd take you around and show you the different rooms that we have here at Darlington for those programs. So first is our painting studio, where we do most of our 2D projects for all ages, kids, teens, and adults. It's in here that we have drawing and painting classes, some portraiture classes and workshops, and beyond. It's also a great place to gather inspiration, as we also have a mural in here by Erica Mattia, one of our wonderful teaching artists, who for our 40th anniversary gave us her interpretation of every art for everyone. This is our dance studio, where we offer programs in ballet, jazz, tap, lyrical, and hip hop, all through the week for all ages. This is also the space where we provide our recitals and our coffee house series, bringing in some local and featured artists once a month, October through May, where we can have an evening for our community and listen to some great music. We've, along the dance studio and community space, put pictures of all of our students so we can remind ourselves as we're in here what Darlington truly is to the community. Now on our walls through November is Meg Lemure, who is a fantastic artist from the Philadelphia area. She has a vivacious outlook on life, which is something that is totally needed right now. You can find her artwork both online at darlingtonarts.org, or you can come in and see the art from 9 to 9 Monday through Friday and 9 to 4 on Saturdays. We recognize that this is a difficult time for many of our families, both here already at Darlington and those that may be thinking about coming to Darlington. We are proud of our Agape Fund, which can help for scholarship assistance for music, art, dance, and drama classes for any of our students that have the passion and the worth to do the lessons or the classes, but may not have the financial means. To check that out, you can go to darlingtonarts.org and go under our scholarships tab. One of the more unique things that Darlington Arts Center can offer is our expansive grounds. We were given five acres from Concord Township in 2000 to build the art center on our space, but we've decided to maintain the greenery here. So in Darlington's next steps, we're hopeful that in the next few years, we'll have a nature trail and benches around our perimeter so that our students and community members alike can enjoy the outside as well as the inside of Darlington. On behalf of our board of directors, staff, and teaching artists, I'd like to thank you for joining us on our virtual tour today. Please know that we're here in person from 9 to 9, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 4 on Saturdays. If you'd like to come in for a personal tour or to check out the activities that we have going on. And as always, look for us online at www.darlingtonarts.org. Thanks.